Hi, I am Nancy Sotero and I'm going to present a way we can assess changes in the neuroplasticity of auditory cortex and the listening effort after using hearing aids. We are performing an experimental protocol of electrophysiological and pupillometric responses. We present both visual and acoustical stimuli in adults in order to collect simultaneously pupillometry and long latency auditory evoked potentials through EEG. We are using eye tracking, which records pupil diameter in tasks with different complexity levels. For example, while we perform a task on speech stimuli recognition, in which the participants listen to two different syllables from Brazilian Portuguese, like ba and da, we analyze if there is a change in their pupil diameter compared to a baseline without hearing stimulation. We also compare a condition in which the subjects perform only passive listening to another where they are requested to actively count one of the syllables. With this paradigm, we are able to acquire data about some cortical auditory potentials like P1, N1, P2 and P300. That provides us information about perception, discrimination and auditory recognition. We are also performing the same tasks on people with mild to severe hearing loss before the using of hearing aids and one and two months after the hearing aids fitting. Our hypothesis is that after that adaptation period, we will be able to see changes in those evoked potentials and on the listening efforts due to the rehabilitation process demonstrating that using hearing aids can improve auditory cortex organization and listening difficulties. Thank you everyone!